Hi everyone! Welcome to day two of the 29 day face challenge. So I'm back to doing a face and I've chosen to do a three, what they call a three quarter face. You'll see what I mean by that once I get started. So let's get started. See you in a little bit. And it's Anne from Annalise Creates, Annalise Creations. I'm here to do the face challenge. Carson's Cat Life, I believe is it. It's what her, uh, Nikki's channel is. And I will post the link at the bottom, like I said in the intro. And I'm just going to get started because this is supposed to be fairly fast, you know. So this was yesterday's. It was a full face and I kind of showed you some tips and tricks that I do when I um, am creating a face. Now next, it's day two. Hopefully I'll be able to get this video up for you guys today. I'm a little behind. I was hoping I could do it yes last night, but things got busy here in my house. So, so it's day two, okay? And I kind of want to show a three-quarter face, which means you kind of see part of the face, you know, not the whole thing. It's slightly turned, okay? Um, this is Julia Roberts. She's so pretty. Anyways, um, so I like this face, just the, the position of her face right now. So I want to try to, to replicate that, okay? So a lot of times I will use magazines as references to do faces, okay? Um, and so I'm gonna try and do this, so bear with me, okay? So I'm gonna start with the face, and it's kind of an oval again. Okay, but as you noticed, I kind of did a flattened oval like here because this is kind of the back of the head or the side of the head. So if I were to put the ear here, this is where the ear would go, okay? But you know me and ears. I don't like ears. <laughs> me and ears don't get along, <laughs> so to speak. All right. So here, let me, I had that perfectly down, and then of course I had to go in and mess it up. Yeah. Okay. So I'm coming in with it, with it like this, okay? Now, I'm going to draw... Okay, you got to imagine that this is the center of the face, okay? But you want it kind of going a little bit closer to this side. It's not going to be directly in the middle, okay? And um, it's not going to be, it, it's going to be kind of a curve. So I'm going to start my curve right about here, okay? And then I'm going to bring it down like that. Okay, so this is where the chin would might be, okay, where the end of the chin is, all right? And my nose line, okay, so I'm going to do another curved line, and this is actually for where the eyes are going to end up at. So I'm going to do my curved line like that, okay? So in reality, when you're going to put the eyes down, and I may use my ovals today for this, um... So in reality, if I put my eye down, okay, usually it's a good idea. I kind of like to start with my nose because then I know where to position my eyes when I'm doing something like this. And this is a harder face to do for me. It's not, it takes a lot of practice. Let me see if you guys can see that better. So it takes a lot of practice and I have a lot of problems with it. So here's the bridge of the nose so i'm following that line down where that bridge of that nose is okay i'm following the line down this curved line i'm following it down but when it ends it's going to kind of end away from that line there okay so i'm going to show you so this is the tip of the nose so her nose is actually showing a little bit more so i'm going to follow this instead so I'm bringing her nose down, and this is where her nose is ending, right in here, okay? And this nostril, I'm not going to see so much because it's kind of turned away, okay? It's kind of turned 
away from me. So this nostril I might see a little of, and this one I might not. So it's just kind of look like that. And then I'm going to have the bridge of the nose, okay? Now the eyes are a little bit tricky because when I'm doing the eye, okay, I'm looking at her eye right now, okay? You're going to see, okay, hang on. This is where the bottom of the eye is going to end at, okay? And she kind of has Okay, so there's one eye. Now the other eye is kind of, you're going to see this part of the eye right here, but this part is kind of, looks like it's going almost off the face. Okay, so you're going to only like see maybe that part of the eye, okay? And you're going to see maybe part of the eyeball like this. Okay, so I'll show you how to do the eyeball in a minute, but it's kind of like that. Okay, and I'm going to erase these lines now because to me they just get me kind of in the way. Usually, um, when I'm doing a three-quarter face like this, I kind of just follow the face itself. I don't really necessarily put the lines in because I think part of it is I've been... Um, drawing for so long that I really don't always follow these lines. Although, you know, it might help you to follow those lines when you're first starting out, okay? So here's that, and then her mouth is kind of like this. So I'm going to do the mouth first, kind of get an idea. But because she's got a three-quarter mouth, this is going to come up a little bit thinner on this side. You're going to see more of the mouth on this side, okay? But you're not going to see the, you know, um, the mouth here as much. It's going to look kind of like, you know, her he head's basically turned, okay? Slightly turned. So now I'm going to do this eye here like this. Now, I could add... Okay, so it's three-quarter turn, right? So I might be able to see her cheekbone a little more. So here's this eye here, and here comes the cheekbone. So kind of like that, okay? And you're not going to see the cheekbone, per se, on this side because her face is, you know, pointing this way, all right? So that's kind of the start of getting your face started, situated for a three-quarter one. see her nose just slightly here. I'm trying to get it here. And it's not going to look exactly like Julia Rob Julie Roberts. I'm just using this as a reference point. I'm not really copying her face per se. I'm just kind of getting an idea of where I want the nostrils and, you know, kind of an idea of where I want to put everything. Okay. And then I'm going to do the eyes next. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add some eyelashes like this. I mean, eyelids like this. This is how I start my eyelids. And I'm going to do the same on this side. Okay. Then I'm going to bring in the eyeball. Okay. And I like to use my template for the eyeball. It just helps me position it better. And it's like an upside down U, or like a U, but more rounded. And because she's looking away from here, this eyeball is going to be smaller. And it's going to be right about here. So say I'm going to do my eyeball here. Okay. So there's the eyeballs. And obviously this one is going to be further away. So that's why it is. it, it can be a little bit smaller. And you could actually bring in the iris here, make the pupils bigger. Okay. So there you have it. And then I could come in and shade in her eyes. Okay. 
and this is just ske sketching with a pencil, okay? But um, later in the week, I will start on doing some painting, okay? And show you my tips and tricks for painting. And it looks a little off. I don't like that. And I can put in a reflection, but I don't, I'm not liking this eye at all on that side, but it's looking funky now. So, sometimes i got to start over. And this side of the face, there might be a little bit of shadowing there, okay, because she's looking away. Okay, that looks better. Working with pastels earlier, and now I got it on my page. <sighs> this eye is looking very funky, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong at the moment with it, but it's just not wanting to go the right way, and I think I know why. Okay, I know why. Yeah, I know why. Okay, so we're going to re-sketch the eye again. And this is, you know, showing you that we are artists. Nothing's ever perfect when we do our work. It does take practice. Okay. I'm not liking it at all, and I just don't know why I'm doing this wrong. So let me look at her eye again. Okay, so I'm going to bring it in like this, and then like that.
Okay, that looks a little better. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna erase this line and this line and that line, okay? And normally they wouldn't be so dark, but I wanted you guys to see, you know, where I'm putting the lines for everything, okay? And this is the face here. And the chin, okay? And the mouth. Okay, so she's smiling, okay, but I'm not gonna make mine smiling, okay? So I'm just gonna get the idea of where I want the mouth to start. And then this side's gonna be thinner. And this side's gonna go like this, whoops. Something like that. <laughs> I'm not used to <laughs> guiding myself with that line there. I usually kind of just know where to put the mouth. So I just kind of go with the flow with my mouth. But now these lines are just messing me up. a little better. Now, I might not want such a big chin, okay? So I might want to come in and make it a little shorter. And just come in like that, okay? Okay. And then just erase all those lines. And then I to darken the pupils again, the eyebrows, I mean, the eye, uh, not eyebrows, the eyelids, okay, and add a little bit of shading along the upper lid here, because not nobody's eyes are completely, you know, the eyeballs aren't completely white, per se, because our eyelids kind of give a shadow effect over the eyes, okay. actually add the illusion of a bridge right there, okay, if I wanted to, okay, or just like a slight line right here, okay, and the other eyebrow right in here. Okay, and then once I'm done pretty much doing that, I can come in and do the neck, okay? So the neck would start right about here, okay? And it would probably end right about here. Oops, hang on now. It's a little too right about here, okay? And then the, let's say the hair, okay? So I always erase the top half of my head when I'm done positioning the head and everything. Then I usually come in and just add some hair by thinking of where the hairline might be and starting from there. Okay, so let me try that again. That's a little confusing there, okay. So let's say I want to start the hairline right about there, and I'm going to bring it apart, okay, and I'm going to bring it down to here, and I want the hair kind of falling, so if I'm bringing it around, I want to bring it around like this, because I don't want to show my ears. And this is just a quick sketch. It's not going to be perfect. Um, 
yeah it's gonna look a little funky kind of keep working at it till I get the effect I want. Okay, so I'm just leaving it like that. Sorry, that noise was my computer. I'm finishing downloading a, or finishing up a, saving a, a, a video for you guys. So I'm just working now and adding some finishing touches to the sketch. It's not perfect, but that's what it's all about is sketches aren't meant to be perfect. Okay. even though the perfectionist side of me wants to make it perfect. And I, <laughs> yeah. process but there you have it she's a little funky looking but you know it's just a quick sketch and I hope you enjoyed it and I use this as my reference it's not exact but it just kind of gives me an idea of where to put the the, the face or where you know where to put the nose and etc if I wanted to you know and I could add more highlights and 
um, shading in here if I wanted to. Um, this eyebrow is a little lower than that one. You know, it's not perfect, but it's it's part of practicing. You know, they say practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. Well, that's the the idea. Is it takes a lot of practice, and sometimes I just don't have the patience to do these <laughs> three quarter faces. I like to do just head on. I'm better with the full face than I am with three quarter. And it just takes a lot of practice. So here's one of my practice sketches. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you can take something with you, some sort of advice or what not to do that I did <laughs> on mine. But anyhow, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Toodles. Oh, hang on. Before you go, I see one mistake right here. Yeah. That needed to be a little bit, um, a little fuller, the eye. So I had, was editing my, my video and I noticed the eye and I just really didn't like the way where it was. I really didn't like it. So I came back in and I thought I had turned on my camera and I didn't. So I came back in and fixed the eye. So this is how it should be. I re-raised it again so you could see what I was doing here. Because she's she's looking that away, kind of. So I want my eye to be sort of going in that direction. Okay, because she's kind of looking that way. should look like that. Okay. So kind of in that direction. And that looks better. <laughs> It was really bothering me, just really bothering me when I turned the camera off and then went to reload it on my computer. It just didn't look right. It looked off to me, it looked really off. So that looks a little better. But like I said, this is a practice, so it's not gonna be perfect. Um, and as you can see, I do need a lot more practice. And if I would spend more time, not get impatient with myself, as I'm sure you most a lot of you know that you probably could get impatient with yourself as well to draw faces and things. I'm more comfortable, of course, doing the front face versus doing the three quarter face. So that's why a lot of times you won't see me do those because I don't have enough practice and I should practice more. So this is this is a great way of practicing your faces. So I hope you enjoyed this. Talk to you later. Bye. Toodles.